Okay, so I'm going to start the explanation at point A, and this is at the end of isovolumetric relaxation. So the left atrioventricular valve is open and the aortic valve is closed. So the pressure in the ventricle is low, so there's diastole where there's filling, so the volume will increase slightly. So the volume increases quite a lot, sorry, but the pressure is still pretty low because the ventricles are relaxed. And so at this point, this is when isovolumetric contraction begins. And isovolumetric basically means that the volume changes, but the pressure stays the same. So at the beginning of isovolumetric contraction, the left atrioventricular valve, which is here, will be closed, as will the aortic valve. So um, the, the ventric ventricular muscle <laughs> will contract, but the volume will stay the same. Therefore, the pressure will increase, and because of this pressure increase, the ventricular pressure in, like exceeds the aortic pressure, so the aortic valve opens, and that is when isovolumetric contraction stops, because the fluid blood will leave, so the volume decreases. Okay, so that's at point C, and then the emptying occurs because this valve is not open. So from here, we'll go to here and the volume will be less so this will be the end systolic volume but the pressure will still be pretty high because the ventricle is still in the contracted state so from here we'll need for the ventricle to relax again so the pressure is low so the blood can be drawn in um, through the, from the atria so here the pressure, I mean the volume will stay the same because it's isomolic isovolumetric relaxation but the pressure will drop because the ventricle will like get out of its contract state so it goes from like so the pressure greatly drops but the volume stays exactly the same so the phases basically go isovolumetric relaxation filling isovolumetric contraction emptying and then the cycle continues um, what are the heart sounds? Okay, so S1, which is the love sound, will occur when the left AV valve closes and you get turbulence as the blood rebounds. So that will be at the beginning of isovolumetric relaxation of contraction. And S2 will be at the beginning of isovolumetric realization, as that occurs when the aortic valve closes. So. H, like the ventricles fill as soon as the AV valves like close. That's the beginning of contraction. Is the AV valve closed? Yeah. That's the point. That's the start of isovolumetric contraction. Yeah, and that's when the volume greatly. The volume doesn't change, but the pressure increases a lot. What's the point? That's the start of isovolumetric relaxation. It would be here when the at the beginning of relaxation the pressure is really high and the volume is still low, but then you can tell when it occurs because the, the pressure goes from very high to very low really quickly. Mm.